Sophie Riggs reports. In a referendum campaign where people are demanding more information, the opinion of business leaders matters. The owner of Foreman's restaurant and fish business is one of 250 people to sign a letter saying the UK would be better off leaving the EU. This East End business was set up in 1905. It's the oldest producer of smoked salmon in the world. Lance Foreman thinks it would survive just fine outside the European Union. We have faced enormous amounts of bureaucracy, as do all businesses. I'll give you a perfect example. Last year, we had to spend thousands of pounds producing new packaging just so that a, a packet of smoked salmon could have a warning sign on the back saying, contains fish. <laughs> it's just completely bombing. Other signatories include the former HSBC chief executive, Michael Gagan, the founder of Friends for You, John Cordwell, and the hotelier, Sir Rocco Forte, all signing in a personal capacity. It comes after a third of FTSE 100 bosses publicly supported staying in last month. Both campaigns are desperate to get business leaders to reflect their arguments. Now, some say that the big firms tend towards in and the smaller firms out. But of course, just like the general public, businessmen and women are individuals with their own individual point of view. But do Foreman's customers think that the opinion of business leaders will make a difference? I think it would because I don't think I understand what the rationale for going out is. It seems like quite a big move away. So I think more people need to come out. At my age, I'm 73. I'm not swayed by anyone. I just can't uh, make up my own mind. And as a former business person, I can assure you that I want to stay in the EU. It seems to me that so many of the business leaders, they have vested interests, either one way or the other, and that so then probably I wouldn't listen to a lot of the business leaders. No, I probably wouldn't. The letter is already under attack from the IN campaign. They point out that it doesn't contain any current FTSE 100 bosses and has only 17 women. It's true that women are underrepresented in the business sector, but just to have 5% on this list of women, including several relatives of one of the signatories, I think shows that the Leave campaign is simply not representative compared to our supporters, our letter uh, last month had around 20% uh, of women signatory. In the end though, the votes of company bosses won't count any more than anyone else's. June's referendum is still too difficult to call. Sophie Ridge, Sky News. You're watching Sky News.